A Breckenridge fire truck is responding to a call oceans away from its home in the high country. It's going to a fire department in Cambodia, where until now, firefighters could only dream of getting such a gift. Mountain Newsroom reporter Andrea Lopez has the story of this generous gift and the man behind it. The white and blue fire department in Breckenridge has six trucks, three stations, and 13 people to cover a fire at any given time. But imagine only one truck covering an area the size of Summit County. It would be terrible. It would be super tough. Uh, Firefighters like Jason Klein can't. Yeah. That's why his department responded to a request to send this truck a half a world away. Sinookville, where the fire truck is going, about 15 firefighters man the only station, and they only have one fire truck. Doug Mandel took a trip to Cambodia in 1997. He fell in love and now devotes his life to helping its people. Sinookville responds to about 20 fires in a year's time, and if they just had one more fire truck, it would just help them greatly. His heart went out to this fire department, where firefighters respond in shorts and flip-flops because they have nothing else. He promised them a fire truck. But it wasn't until Breckenridge decided to get rid of this outdated one that the promise was made good. It means a lot to us. Um, you know, we, we definitely want to help other people out. And uh, by us donating this engine, I, we feel like we're doing that. A lot of smiles and just, um, it'll just make their, it'll make their year. Klein fires up the old truck. It's likely the last time. It's seen the end of an era in Breckenridge. But the road ahead is paved with bright eyes and hopes for a new beginning in Cambodia. In Breckenridge, Andrea Lopez, CBS4, Mountain Newsroom. Mandel hopes to ship the truck over by early September. That's going to cost about $12,000. The government is considering picking up the cost, but if it doesn't, Mandel plans to try to raise that money.